Todd here with Liberty Oaks. Just wanted to share with you a couple easy tips you can use in the off season to keep your tackle in tip top shape. We're sitting here with a box of soft plastics. Uh, most of these are trolling baits. And I've gone through them already a little bit, so I cheated the video, but I want to show you things to look for uh, on your skirts. You get a lot of ruined skirts because these things stick together and you go and you pull one and they'll snap. Oh, no use for those, get rid of them. Can't use those anymore. You'll find things, oh, there you go, like partially bitten off tails. Uh, no sense in keeping that because, you know, as soon as you put that back in the water, it's gonna, it's gonna fall apart. Also, you'll see that this box is, is super dirty. Uh, I got an old thing of pork, pork rinds here. Uh, and they have rusted and made a ginormous mess here. So I'm gonna take this whole box and rinse it out with fresh water. And yes, these are uh, my hard baits and stuff. So these are, you know, this is just stretch 25, um, you know, stretch 20, something like that. Um, anyhow, you can see they're they're beat up. They've uh, they've been through the ringer. So again, keeping your your bucket of fresh water, you can simply dip it in there, grab your steel wool again, and just lightly, very lightly, because paint will come right off of these sometimes. Um, and these are, these got some years on them. Again, not cheap tackle, not something that you want to replace every single season, necessarily, or unnecessarily. So there we go. It's clean. It's ready to go back in the box. We knocked off all the salt, um, you know, down here in the bay. It's not super salty, but it's salty enough. And you can see, knocked off some of the rust that was already starting to form. I'll probably go ahead and replace these hooks too. Back here with hard baits. Uh, most of these are suspended baits and floaters. Again, not gonna go at nauseam at this, but you can see, um, you know, anything that's been in the water around here is is taking some punishment. At least the very little. Take each of your lures, dip them in the fresh water, get them cleaned up. Um, and you want to go ahead and before you close the box up or anything, leave it out for a few days. Let them dry out. If you get, if you got a sunny day, leave them out in the sun. They'll dry real quick, but. That's all I'm doing. Just taking everything, making sure I've knocked the salt off. And some of this stuff's been in here since the summertime when we're red fishing and trout fishing. But I'm just gonna take it, put it in there, put it out in the sun, put it out in the garage with the heat on, do something, just let it dry out. I went ahead and already pulled the stuff out of this box, but it was nice and, and rusty. Um, some of the things I wanna point out to you, these are all steels uh, or heavy sinking baits. I just went and dropped them in the, in the fresh water again. I want to take a piece of steel wool, quickly hit them, clean them up. Then uh, I want to try and lay them out again, let them dry out. So also pulled out in the in soft plastics and sinking baits. Um, a lot of my lures, especially these newer materials uh, that they're making them out of, are really susceptible to heat. Uh, that, believe it or not, was, was a shrimp. Um, now it is a giant mush puddle. Gonna toss that in the trash. This uh, had a soft tail on it and a hard head. And you can see it kind of molded and melted into the, uh, the other one. So yeah, lesson learned, um, and it's 100% my fault, you don't leave them out in in the heat, especially these these newer materials. They just don't hold up. All right, guys. So just to wrap it up, a couple other little tips here. The lures that we just maintained and cleaned and knocked the rust off of, we want to make sure that if they are starting to rust, that we put a little coat of uh, protectant on them. So what I like to do is just take uh, a little bit of WD-40, rub it on my fingers, and then just kind of rub the hooks uh, and make sure that you know it's got a little bit of a barrier on it. 
Um, also, just share another little idea uh, that I found for keeping soft plastics that works really well. Um, as I mentioned, they melt. Uh, so another little idea is just take uh, handy little Ziploc bags, sandwich bags, and put each individual lure in a bag. Um, these have leaders with them as well, but this will help keep your, uh, your lures clean as well as keep them from sticking together. And just in closing, um, fishing line, we all know it's bad, it's not good uh, for the environment. Try and dispose of your line, put it in some kind of um, container, take it to a waste station. Most, uh, most of your departments of wildlife and parks and such have disposal stations and get rid of your line in the proper way.